Hi Booktube, Lynette here and today's video I'm going to talk about my reading plans for the month of December. I've decided to do something just a little bit different for December. Um, I was, I think I was watching videos kind of almost half, just over halfway through the year um, and realising that uh, I have a habit of making TBRs and not completing them. Um, so I decided that I would challenge myself um, at the end of this year to go back over those TBRs and see if I could do something about completing them. I've seen similar things done on other channels uh, and I just I, I thought you know I should have a go at it myself. So I've gone through um, back over the last 11 months, uh, gone through the TBRs that I actually set. Um, I should just say that these are actual TBRs not loose TBR. So November's a bit slightly different. Um, but yes, I've gone through and I've had a look and um, I'm now going to go through how, not quite how I did for each month, but I'm just going to tell you the books that I had left over. So I started out the year with grand plans of having a wheel of TBR and picking prompts that would then um, give me reading and it didn't quite work out that way, not even in the first month. In the first month I actually DNF'd the wheel completely um, and then I DNF'd two books that I'd picked that month. So the two books that I didn't read are Dragonfly and Amber by Diana Gabaldon. This is book two in her series uh, called Outlander and uh, this follows a woman who's uh, transported back in time from 1940s Scotland to 1700s, 1770s. Um, and what happens after, um, to her after that? I uh, can't really say very much about it because it is, like I say, book two in the series. And it's a book that I started a few years ago. I really do need to carry on with it. And then another book that I didn't finish in January is Sepulchre by e. Kate Moss. Uh, this is a dual timeline story set um, in France. Um, there's a little bit of a mystery going on. Um, can't really remember much about it, but I know I started it and I know I was enjoying it, but it was one of those books that I was in the mood for, but I wasn't in the mood for. I had to make myself sit down and read it, but while I was reading it, I was enjoying it. So that's definitely one that I want to try and knock off the currently reading list. Um, in February, I had quite a large TBR um, and I didn't read most of them. <laughs> it's, it's probably the easiest way to do it. The first one that I didn't read was All the Light We Cannot See by Anthony Doerr. Can't really remember what it was about, but I know that it was the book club pick for that month. Um, so... It's one of the few that I've DNF'd this year for the book club. Um, but I think everybody enjoyed it, so I really do want to get on and read it. Um, you know, I've, I've kept it on my TBR, I've kept it on my Kindle because I downloaded the Kindle copy. So it was one that I definitely had every intention of reading. The next book that I didn't finish was Let's Do It by Jasper Reese, which is a biography of um, Victoria Wood, the comedian Victoria Wood. And I absolutely love uh, Victoria Wood. I was really looking forward to reading this one and I have no idea why I didn't pick it up um, at the time. So yes, it's definitely one that's there. It's definitely one that I want to pick up at some point. Um, it's, yeah, it's not gonna leave my TBR. I'm probably, I'm not gonna softly enough it. Um, I'm just not 100% certain when or how I'm gonna read it. It may not even come into December, but it's a definite possibility. The third book was The Curse Keepers by Denise Grover Swank. Can't really remember what this one is about. It's been on my TBR for years. I have to look it up every time I come across it. Um, so yeah, so it's definitely one that I need to either decide to do away with or need to read. The fourth book that I didn't even start um, is... Uh, an Echo of Things to Come by James Islington. Is it Islington or Islington? I hear the Americans say Islington, the UK say Islington. It's book two of his Lycanius trilogy. Um, book one, The Shadow of What Was Lost. Yes, I enjoyed it. It didn't wow me. It didn't blow me away. 
but I did enjoy it and I do want to carry on with the series um but I think it's what we call a soft DNF for now I'm I'm not going to uh, make myself read it but I think at some point I probably am going to come back to the series and carry it on just not sure if it's going to be one for December and the final book in February that I didn't read is Seduce by Felicity Heaton. This is a paranormal romance um, set around a theatre in an erotic theatre in France. Um, I really love Felicity Heaton's writing. She's one of the earliest romance writers that I discovered when I discovered uh, ebooks and started reading a lot more romance. So I definitely want to read more from her and yeah this is again it's just another series that has been sat on my kindle um for a long time that i really need to get on top of march i decided was going to be a mood read month um so i was picking as i went along and i didn't um dnf anything that much month i didn't start anything or um not read anything that month so that month all good April I did try resurrecting the prompt pulling um, and I gave I gave all the prompts multiple um, options because again I was still kind of feeling the mood reading um, but April is also kind of where everything went a bit yeah uh, everything started to snowball this year for me emotionally so Yes, I do have a lot um, on this list. Uh, I, in fact, I think I've got nine books uh, from April that I didn't read out of a possible 13. 13 is, you know, I mean, it's doable for me um, as long as the books are no more than 300 pages each. But uh, in this instance, I think I did set myself um, a task. I think I achieved the prompts that I'd set myself um, in that month. But obviously there are still books that I hadn't read. So I'm going to list them here. They're all possibilities. The first one that I didn't read is The Keeper of Lost Things by Ruth Hogan. Uh, this is about a woman who um, comes into the possession of um, some lost treasures. Um, and then they have to try and reunite them with the people that they actually belong to it sounds intriguing it was lent to me by a friend um they don't want it back so it doesn't matter that i've had it for so long um but yeah it's definitely one that i want to get to uh, my mum wants to borrow it as well eventually um so yeah so that's that's one that i definitely want to try and get to the second one is one that i'm definitely ashamed of that's camelot by giles christian uh, this is a retelling of the Knights of Arthur. In this case, we are talking about Gawain um, and also Galahad. But yes, I was really looking forward to this one. So this one I definitely need to get a move on because I've been anticipating this one for far too long. The next book that I didn't read is Paris by Starlight by Robert Din Dinsdale. I think this is um, a magical realism novel um it's got one of those horrible stickers on the front that you can't remove um it's about when magic meets real life um and can magic and the ordinaries of the day coexist um i really want i really want to get to this one uh it came out of a book box um years ago a few years ago now it's been sat on my shelf it's one i want to read <sighs> Well, they're all ones that I want to read um, and it's one that I keep looking at and thinking well shall I just take it to the charity shop am I actually going to get to it and then I think no I do want to read it I really should have a go um, but yeah I just don't know when um, I'm sorry if I've moved I had to go and get book from another room because this next one is one that has been on multiple TBRs um, and I am going to get to it because it's a series I want to finish and if that doesn't tell you what it is it's Lord of Chaos by Robert Jordan, book six in the Wheel of Time series. I have been reading this series for years. Yes, my problem with this is that I know they're chunky books. There's a lot of information in them. There's a lot of detail. It takes me about five minutes to read one page, um, which anybody who knows me knows that isn't normal. Um, and it's not that I don't enjoy them because I do enjoy them. It's also that I know that 
these are very slow books and there is not a lot that happens in the next three four books um but yes i keep saying it i keep saying i'm gonna try and read a chapter a day i keep saying i'm gonna try and get to a certain amount of pages in a month and it just doesn't happen i think i've managed to read 30 pages in november um so i've made a little bit of progress in this past month um but yes i just need to get on and carry on with this book the next book that I was going to read is The Jack of Souls by Stephen Merlino. I think this is a fantasy fiction um, and set in, a, set in a world where there's constant war. I'm not, I'm not quite sure. Um, again, it's been on my TBR for absolute donkey's years um, and I need to get on with it. Um, yes, it's definitely one that I need to try and use my new reading challenge to try and push through i think um, my next one was sun in ascends by josiah bancroft i want to read this series it sounds intriguing to me it's about a man who go who goes to the tower of babel with his wife on their honeymoon and his wife goes missing and he has to go through all these trials to try and find her but different levels of the tower have different trials um so yeah i'm i'm kind of thinking about it um probably not going to be december um but yes it's definitely a fantasy series that i'm intrigued by um and i don't think i've heard any bad things about it at all um which stands in good stead so i really should get to it the next two were ones that i started but didn't finish the first one was heroes by stephen fry this is a, a series of Myth, re, um, mythological Greek myths um, that Stephen Fry has written down um, and I was really enjoying it I was listening, it, listening to it on my way to work but it was a library download and I ran out of time before um, the library had to return it so I didn't get to finish it but I do want to go back to it so it might be one that I have a look and see when it's going to come available again um, and see if I'd be able to pick up where I left off and the final book for April was The Fifth Season by N.K. Jemison. Now, this is a soft DNF, so I'm probably not going to pick this one up. It's a fantasy novel in a world where people can control, um, not the weather, but they can control elements of, yeah, I, I, I didn't really understand all of it. Um, I got a fair way into it and I just wasn't getting it. Um... And I, I just wasn't enjoying it. I don't know whether it was just the wrong book at the wrong, wrong time. Um, but yeah, I think about it. I quite often think about it. It's one that's brought up quite regularly on YouTube and Instagram. Um, so I do quite often see it around. And I do think, well, well what if? Because it is meant to be a very good series. Um, N.K. Jemison is supposed to, um, supposed to be an excellent writer. She's won all these awards. Um, and I do want to know what the fuss is all about. So, again, it, because it's one that I've started, it's one that's on the maybe pile for December. And then the next four months went really well. May, I was in a bit of a mood, um, in a bit of a slump, so I allowed myself to mood read. June was whatever a thon, whatever you want a thon, um, run by Maddie over at Book Browsing Blog. And I absolutely love that um, readathon, and I completed everything that I'd set for myself for that TBR and for that readathon, um, getting as many points as I possibly could for the team that I was on. Sadly, I wasn't on the winning team, but you can't have everything. It was a win in terms of my reading. Again, in July, I read everything that I set myself in July. Um, I again, but again, I was still very much allowing myself to read as the mood took me so i was trying to respond to how i was feeling personally when i was picking books up august again a mood read um and towards the well right at the very end of august is when things started to go a bit downhill again um lord of chaos was on august's uh reading plan didn't happen um but yes i mood read i didn't have an actual tbr um, and then we get back to September. September was the month of Bacopolathon, which is the readathon hosted by Becca over at Becca and the Books. Um, 
and she plays a version of Monopoly and you go around the board and each square has a prompt on it and you pick a book to go with that. I did all my rolls in advance and I picked books out for each prompt um, because I was feeling like I might be on a track or I might be where I knew what I was going to read. Um, but with the things that happened at the end of August, um, with my cat getting sick, uh, my reading did slow down. So it wasn't that I didn't read things because I wasn't in the mood for them or didn't read them. I just ran out of time because my reading had slowed down. Um, but there were three books um, that I didn't finish. The first of those was Once Upon a River by Diane Setterfield. Now, again, this is a soft DNF. Um, I still have it. I took it out from the library. The library are nagging me for it back. Um, so I think I might have to make a note of which page I got to take it back and then take it back out again um, at another time. Um, that was the book club pick for September. And yeah, I really need to um, I really need to finish it because I was intrigued by it. Um, I actually went on to the book club meeting and didn't um, yeah, didn't talk, let, told them they could talk about it, um, but I hadn't finished it and I didn't mind spoilers. Um, but yeah, I do I do want to know how what happens in that. I was intrigued by that one. I also had the short knife by Ella, Ellen Caldecott on the list. Uh, this was for um, for Bacopolathon and it's a historical fiction based around the Roman Empire. Um, yeah, and it's, yeah, it's historical fiction. Um, and it is the kind of historical fiction that I'm into um, where, the, you know, there's not a lot we know the basics from what's been left behind but we don't know in detail the historical aspects um so i was really intrigued by it again this was another one that arrived in a book box and i want to read it um i look at it occasionally and think am i ever going to read it but it's definitely one that i think having my book buying challenge um might push me to actually finish Again, because I physically have it, it's a good option for December. And then the final one in September is Obsidian by Sarah Daly. It's fantasy fiction. It was one that I had as an advanced reader copy through NetGalley that I never got around to reading before release day. Um, and I've got a few of those that I need to get to. Uh, so yeah, again, I already have it. It's on my Kindle, so... I really need to get a move on and read that one as well. Again, it's a possibility. In October, um, I hadn't set a TBR. Uh, I just couldn't face filming at that point with everything that was going on with my cat. And then partway through the month, he did pass away. Um, so I was mood reading. However, I did start a reread of the Harry Potter series and I got almost halfway through Goblet of Fire. Um, so yeah, again, that's one that I need to get. I mean, I've, I've read these stories back to front um, numerous times, so I do know them. Um, but yes, it's another one that I potentially need to get to. And I, if anything, I want to just finish books I've already started um, because that would be a big help because that would reduce the TBR down. And I don't feel like I've got a load of books sat waiting for me to finish them. Even though I've got a load of books sat waiting for me to finish them. I'm also waiting to start them. But the ones that I've started, it would be useful if I could knock those off the list as well, really. Um, so yeah, so that's another definite possibility for December. And then November, it was the month of the final book support group. Again, I was allowing myself to mood read, so I'd kind of, I'd made a video saying what I might read. Um, it was a might be read rather than a to be read. Um, so yeah, I didn't really fail at November. I didn't really pass either. I had a few books um, on the list uh, that I wanted to get to and I did get to them. I had others that I didn't want to get to that I hadn't been planning on reading and I read those instead. So I read Heartstopper 3. Um, I read Let It Ride by Vivian Arend, um, and yeah, so they weren't on my list at all, um, but 
but because it was the month of me just continuing series and trying to finish a couple of series I didn't really have any solid plans so we're gonna call November a win I have two other books uh, which are in progress the first one of those is The Silmarillion by J.R.R. Tolkien um, this one I'm just reading in fits and starts I'm not saying I'm gonna read it in December I'm just saying that with my theme of wanting to finish things I've started so finish TBRs I've started or finish books I've already started this definitely fits with that the other one is The Power by Jennifer L. Armentrout. It's a young adult um, romance series based around the Greek gods, um, but in set in modern times. Um, it's kind of uh, Percy Jackson meets romance, I think is probably the best way to um, describe that one. Um, but yes, that's again, that's another one that I've been reading in fits and starts. And when I read it, I enjoy it. But when I put it down, I don't think about picking it back up again. Um, and yeah, that's that's it. That's my plans. Um, I, there are four other books that I want to read uh, in this month um, because uh, the book clubs are still running through the month of December. At the point that I'm filming this, I don't know what the book club books will be. Um, Aurelius Literature Club has announced theirs. I can't remember what it is, just like in November. Um, I'm sure that there will be a reminder when I go to the Discord pages. But Cozy Book Club, we haven't actually picked yet. And then Steph over at Steph Loves um, for the uh, weekend of the 10th and 11th of December. She's running a Christmas themed readathon. Um, and I've got a couple of Christmas romances that have been on my shelves for a while. The first one is I'll Be Home for Christmas by Abby Clancy. Um, and the second one is Christmas at the Palace by Giovanni Chirica. Um, they've been on my shelves since last Christmas when I got them from a box of stories. Uh, they did a Christmas special. Um, and yeah, I... I It'll just get them off my shelves. I don't think they're going to be ones that I keep after I've read them. But yes, that's those are my reading plans. I think they're going to be quite quick, easy reads that I could accomplish happily um, in the month of December and over that weekend. So here's just the pile of physical books uh, that I have on my shelves um, that weren't from the library. Uh, and there's a whole pile more. And if I put... A book a physical book on my shelf to represent each of the books I wouldn't be able to hold, I'm struggling to hold this pile up as it is um, but yes this is my possible reads for December I'm not making any promises um, but I'm definitely definitely going to try and knock some of these off of the list uh, I get two weeks off in December because my uh, place of work shuts down so apart from christmas eve christmas day boxing day when i don't really when i do have plans other than that i should be able to get through these so let's see what happens and i'll report back in january do you have reading plans for december if you do let me know in the comments box down below i am really sorry that this has been a marathon of a tbr video uh, i hope you've enjoyed it if you have, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, then subscribe to the channel. I try to make videos and put them up every Monday at 6.30 p.m. UK time. Uh, things are still a little bit wobbly for me in terms of filming at the moment. Um, so uh, I actually have the community tab now. So if there's gonna be any, any breaks in service, I will try and let you know. Um, but yes, I hope you've enjoyed this video and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye.